Good evening. <clears throat> My name is Tobias Barske. I serve as the Assistant Dean for the School of Humanities and Global Studies, which brings together departments of English, or the departments of English, History and International Studies, Philosophy and Religious Studies, and World Languages and Literatures. All of these are part of the College of Letters and Science. It is my distinct honor to extend a delighted welcome to all of our students and faculty members for their outstanding work. That's what we're here to celebrate, and there could not be a happier occasion. Oh. <laughs> to our students, their friends and families, and to the faculty from the departments, Please know that for me, there is no bigger joy than to celebrate your hard work and the accomplishments. I feel very lucky to work with an amazing group of people. I hope you don't mind if I take a few moments to thank a few of them. Tonight's event would not have been possible without the countless hours that, Sam, where are you? <laughs> Sam Petch invested in designing things like the PowerPoint presentation, the website for this event, countless emails chasing down students, chasing down faculty members, uh, leading up to tonight. Thank you very much. I also want to, uh, to thank the department chairs uh, of the four departments we, uh, we brought together in this school. Rebecca Stevens from English, she's at a competing event tonight. Um, she's talking about censorship, um, so there's a little snafu in terms of uh, scheduling there. Uh, Britt Barker from the Department of History and International Studies. Alice Keefe uh, from the Philosophy and Religious Studies. And then finally, Vera Klikovkina from the Department of World Languages and Literatures. She also couldn't be here tonight because she had an accident. Just a little side note. Don't walk across the campus and look at your cell phones because you might trip. Together with Lindsay Cheever, who's to my right, um, it has been really, really great uh, to work with this team and guide all the programs offered in HGS to make all of this happen. So thank you very much. I also want to thank Professor Brett Barker for leading us through uh, tonight's event. In just a second, I'll hand over. To our students, you are truly amazing, and I mean that. You have impressed our faculty with your ability to think critically, be engaged in classroom discussions, to write clearly, and work hard. Pl please know that we... Uh, <clears throat> that we could not be more proud of everything you've achieved. Working with you and engaging with your ideas can be one of the most rewarding aspects of our jobs. It keeps us young and excited. And yes, I know I have gray hair, but still young at heart. To my faculty, would you mind getting up, please? I know. It's like in the Catholic Church. Get up, get down, get up, get down. What you accomplish with your, our students day in and day out is truly remarkable. I know this time of year, the level of exhaustion tends to be really, really high as we're dashing towards the finish line of another academic year. From the bottom of my heart and on behalf of all of our students, thank you. As a final thought to our students, from your instructors. We love working with you and we remember the intellectually engaging interactions with all of you. As you venture out into the world and as some of you are preparing to leave UWSP, please share some of your accomplishments with us. We really love to hear what you know happens to you after you leave campus. <coughs> there are a few things in life that make teachers more proud <coughs> than to hear from former students how learning matters in all of our lives. Congratulations to everyone on the job well done, and let's hand it over to Brett.
Thank you, Tobia. So I am Brett Barker, and uh, I will be the master of ceremonies for this evening. And I also want to welcome everyone here, both the students and their families and friends who have joined us, both live here in person and those who are joining us on live stream, uh, which is also occurring right now. Um, before we go any further, I want to take just a moment to recognize all of the donors, the people who oh, uh, year in and year out are the people who make these scholarships and these awards possible. They've been many of us, many of them have been with us for many years. I don't believe there are any in the room tonight, though my understanding is there are some on live stream. So I wonder if we could just take a minute and recognize all the donors who make these scholarships possible. So now on to more mundane task. I have some announcements and guidance that will make the evening go more smoothly, so please pay attention to these guidelines. Um, students will come up when their award category is announced. These categories and their order can be found on the cards you'll find on your table. So what we would like you to do, students, is look for your name and then the category your award fits under and wait for your category to be called. Um, the high academic awards are by far the largest group, and they are split up into group one, groups one, two, and three, and those will be called up separately, but otherwise you'll come up as a category. Students, when called, and I will call you forward, should come up and stand over here to the left in front and over to my left, um, and when their category is called. The presenter will call each person's name. We will do our best to pronounce those names correctly. And when a name is called, the student should cross in front of the podium to receive their award. Um, by the way, at the end, of, yes, there we go. And, she, and Lindsay is showing how that will work. Excellent. Um, by the way, at the end of the ceremony, we want to take photographs of all the students in each category. So if you could stay around at the end, we'll take those photographs up in the front and make sure we can preserve this uh, memory of this evening for everyone. Okay? So those are the basic rules. I think it's also fair to say that if your award is not coming up or if your family member does not have to get up here and stand, um, you're welcome to go back and, and uh, get something to drink or an additional food and beverage during the program. But we'll also have a, pro a chance at the end to mingle and to refill our plates as well. Okay, so to begin with tonight, to present the Distinguished Students and Faculty Awards is my pleasure to introduce Dr. Alice Keefe, Professor and Chair of the Department of Philosophy and Religious Studies. Awardees in this category, student awardees in this category should come forward at this time. Because of these signal achievements, I would encourage individual applause for each recipient after their name is called. Dr. Keith. Thank you, Brett. Welcome. Once a year, each department in our college selects one outstanding continuing student and one outstanding graduating student for the College of Letters and Sciences Distinguished Student Awards. These students have performed at the highest level of academic achievement within their area of study, and as well, they have demonstrated extraordinary intellectual curiosity and enthusiasm for the adventure of a liberal education. All right. First, I'm going to introduce our graduate, our distinguished graduating student from the English department, Dylan Potter. Dylan. I think we're gonna hold the applause each time, right there, Dylan, each time until we're done, because we, otherwise we'll applaud twice for everybody. <laughs> um, so Dylan is a graduating English major, minoring in professional communication. This spring, English department faculty nominated him for the Ellen Spreck Scholarship for Outstanding English Major. Dylan has made significant public-facing contributions to UWSP's goal of inclusive excellence by conducting archival research on Native American histories in central Wisconsin and gathering oral histories from tribal elders. He presented his findings at the College Undergraduate Research Symposium in 2022 
and helped develop an exhibit at the UWSP Museum of Natural History. After completing his degree, Dylan plans to pursue a career as a freelance writer, journalist, and author of creative nonfiction. Let's have a hand of applause for Dylan. Congratulations, Dylan. Next is our distinguished graduating student from the history department, Maverick Delane. Yay, Maverick is graduating with majors in history and social science education and a certificate in environmental education and interpretation. He grew up on a farm in Germantown, Wisconsin and started at UWSP in 2020. Outside the classroom, he's been involved in Student Government Association and after graduation, Maverick's planning to teach in a middle or high school using his UWSP degree to shape the next generation of leaders. Congratulations, Maverick. Thank you. Thank you. Next is our distinguished graduating student in philosophy, Mike Ayinsu Mensa. Mike is graduating with a double major in philosophy and psychology and a minor in biology. Wow. He has received several scholarships, including the Wisconsin Regents Opportunity Scholarship, the Wisconsin United Methodist Foundation Scholarship, and the Nolte Scholarship for Education and Missions to assist with his volunteer work in Ghana. In addition to his academic success and honors, Mike is an accomplished student athlete, being an NCAA Division III National Indoor Track and Field Championships qualifier in 2020 and 21. Mike spent last summer doing research in the Marvin G. Myers Behavioral Neuroscience Lab at the University of Michigan, Ann Arbor. After graduation, Mike plans to attend a PhD program in clinical psychology. Let's have an applause for Mike Ayumensa. Congratulations, Mike. And next is our distinguished graduating student from the Department of World Languages and Literatures, Genesis Santos. And Genesis is a graduating student with majors in Spanish, International Studies, and Political Science. Genesis grew up in Arroyo, Puerto Rico, and she now lives in Waukesha, Wisconsin. She's interning with the State Public Defender's Office this summer and thinking about going to law school with an intent on focusing on immigration law. She wants to work for a humanitarian organization or government agency that provides greater opportunities to individuals globally. She's an excellent example of using language skills in an important applied way. Congratulations, Genesis. Congratulations. All right, so next we have our distinguished continuing student from the English department, Hannah Fenrick. Yay, Hannah is a continuing English major, minoring in professional writing. She is currently the news director and online editor for The Pointer and is an editor in training for both Cornerstone Press and the literary journal Midwest Review. These positions allow Hannah to use her considerable leadership skills to motivate and organize her team leaders. Hannah has a passion for social justice, frequently using her platform at The Pointer to highlight underreported stories from marginalized groups in our community. Her dream is to earn a Master's of Library and in Information Science while working as a freelance journalist. Congratulations, Hannah. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Oops, oops, Hannah, come back. You gotta get your, you gotta get your thing. Here we go. You have to get your precious certificate. So our uh, distinguished continuing student from the History Department is Courtney Bittner. Courtney is a continuing student from Abbotsford, Wisconsin, majoring in history, 
and Social Sci Studies Education with a Psychology minor. She's a tutor in the Tutoring Learning Center and a teen coordinator at the Boys and Girls Club of Portage County. She plans to become a high school history and social studies teacher. Yay, Courtney. Congratulations. Our distinguished continuing student from the Department of Philosophy and Religious Studies is Egan Thayer Hill. Egan is a junior philosophy major from Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. He's a great student, making the dean's list multiple times, and he is a lover of music, singing in the UWSP Choral Union. Egan's very close with his family, especially his three younger siblings, Laclan, Zephyr, and Fenton. He is particularly interested in the exploration of ethical questions in contexts that range from ancient Greek philosophy to the modern superhero universe. Egan takes a balanced approach to life, seeking to deeply engage the present while at the same time making balanced preparations for a future that will include most likely some sort of graduate study. Congratulations, Egan. And our distinguished continuing student from the Department of World Languages and Literatures is Josh Paulson. Josh is pursuing a Spanish minor and a major in English with emphasis in writing, editing, and publishing. Josh is from Wausau and graduated from DC Everest Senior High in 2012. After an attempt at biochem at UW Eau Claire, he decided instead to join the workforce. And over the next few years, he gained much insight into what his true calling is and what he most enjoys doing. Activities that include creative writing and Taekwondo. He decided to return to college and entered UWSP in 2022. He looks forward to a future writing poetry and prose. Congratulations, Josh. Congratulations. All right. Uh, now it's my pleasure to recognize two members of our academic community who have received special awards this year. Would Tobias and Nancy please come forward to the front? So it is my pleasure to introduce Nancy Lopatin Lummis, winner of the Eugene Katz Letters and Science Distinguished Faculty Award, or the Katz Award for short. This award is presented annually to a College of Letters and Science faculty member in recognition of ongoing excellence in teaching scholarship and service over many years. The award has been presented since 1999 in memory of Eugene Katz, a longtime friend of UWSP. And this year's awardee is Professor of History Nancy Lopatin Lummis. Dr. Lopatin Lummis is an internationally acclaimed scholar of British history with a remarkable record of academic publications, professional service, and dedication to the intellectual development of our students. She was one of the first and only female scholars to gain prominence in the field of British history. In addition to a monograph and a festschrift, she uh, has served as editor for the definitive four-volume series on the lives of Victorian political figures, and she's published an impressive number of academic articles and book reviews. On campus, she served in several important service roles, including chair of history and director of general education. Her devotion to nurturing the intellectual life of her students has been extraordinary, and literally generations of students continue to treasure the impact she has had on their lives. This award comes at an opportune moment as Dr. Lopatin Lummis approaches her much deserved retirement after 34 years of service at UWSP. Congratulations, Nancy.
And finally, I'm pleased to honor Dr. Tobias Barsky as the recipient of the university's Academic Staff Excellent Award. Dr. Barsky arrived at UWSP in 2026 to teach German and served for five years as department chair for world languages and literatures and then as interim associate dean for the college. In 2020, Dr. Barsky took on the challenge of serving as assistant dean for the newly formed School of Humanities and Global Studies. It was not easy to create a new sense of group identity and shared purpose among the faculty of four previously autonomous departments, but Dr. Barsky succeeded by letting everyone know how much they were valued and appreciated as part of the team. He brought the school's faculty together in shared pedagogical explorations and activities relating to career preparation. He took on many roles and responsibilities he could have left with the hands of, in the hands of chairs and poured considerable energy into design, to designing new recruitment materials, creating internship opportunities, and building bridges with the larger community. In all that he's done, leading us in the creation of a new school, Dr. Borsky has modeled creative and collaborative leadership with the aim of forging positive morale and, and a sense of belonging among the faculty and staff of our school. He has fostered an environment of positivity in which human connections matter. It's been a great pleasure and an inspiration to work with Dr. Barsky, and I'm delighted he's received this much deserved reward for his superior performance as Assistant Dean of the School of Humanities and Global Studies. Let's have a hand for Dr. Barsky. And now I'll hand the mic back to Brett, and let's hope it keeps working properly. <laughs> Thank you, Alan. <coughs> All right, and by the way, one oversight, which I apologize for, um, you may also have noticed that the person congratulating students in that first category is, uh, was Dean Josh Hagen, Dean of the College of Letters and Science. I just want to recognize his presence here this evening uh, and being here for our students. Um, the next category is scholarships and teaching. Those will be presented by Dr. Erica Ringelspa, Assistant Professor of English. Awardees in this category can forward this time and can come closer over to the table. You don't have to hide over by the windows. You can come over a little bit closer. It's all right. Uh, all right, and so I will hand the mic over to Eric at this point. Thank you. In the School of Humanities and Global Studies, we regard preparing students to be teachers in our discipline areas as one of our most important roles. We know that teaching is always an attempt to change the world, one student at a time. Our students who are being licensed in teaching connect UWSP to the surrounding community as we collaborate with area K-12 schools and districts. In the humanities, we know the power of asking the right questions, considering context and culture when analyzing messages and text, and making connections across space and time is, which is what we trust these new teachers to do with their own students. The Dale H. and Eldora Volrath History Scholarship is awarded to a student majoring in history with a teaching emphasis or in history and social studies education. This year it goes to Lucas McCarrick. and Sydney Lee. The James, H, James A. Haney Memorial Scholarship is awarded to a graduating senior majoring in Broadfield Social Science or History and Social Studies Education with high academic achievement and a potential as a future teacher. This year goes to Lauren Johnson. The Martha Marshall Award honors an educator in the Stevens Point area schools for many years. Her daughter, Isabella Selma Husky, was a professor in the UWSB English department, and Isabella endowed this award to honor her mother and encourage future teachers. 
When determining who receives this award, English Ed faculty look for pre-service students who are especially reflective, collaborative, and intrinsically motivated, who are internalizing class concepts and applying them to their developing teacher identity, and who are leaders in class, making sure every voice is heard. Before her death, Isabella took great pleasure in the award. She always wanted to meet the winner and take them out for lunch. I get such pleasure from imagining Isabella and Marissa Martin sitting down and having lunch together. Congratulations, Marissa. The Jack and Mark Seiler Foreign Language Award is presented to a world language major who will study abroad in a full semester language-based program. This year goes to Giselle Rottier. Rottier? Rottier. Rottier. I'll get it eventually. Congratulations. And the Jorg Deitmer Barska Award for Excellence in the Teaching of English as a Second Language honors Jorg Deitmer Barska and his lifetime commitment to intercultural education and international education. Barska dedicated his personal passion and professional career to educating students from developing countries through his work with programs in Germany, Indonesia, and Afghanistan. And this year the award goes to A.J. Jones. Thank you, Erica. Um, <clears throat> the next large section of awards is for high academic achievement. Presenting them will be Dr. Lee Willis, Professor of History. Would those awardees in Group 1 come forward at this time? Thank you, Brett. The following awards are given in recognition of high academic achievement. Students earn these scholarships by challenging themselves to grow intellectually in profound ways during years of tireless commitment to their studies at UWSP. We salute their decision to make the most of their undergraduate education and their excellence in the classroom and beyond. The Cornerstone Press Award for Excellence in Publishing Studies uh, this scholarship is awarded to a senior English major for sustained commitment. Let me go back. <laughs> Sorry, I'm <hitting. laughs> sustained commitment uh, to the Cornerstone Press, an academic excellence in publishing studies at UWSB. The student is selected by the director and publisher of Cornerstone Press, Dr. Ross Tangadon. This year's winner is Brett Hill. The Ellen Specht English Department Award. This scholarship is awarded to a sophomore with the highest GPA in English at the completion of 12 English credits, and to the junior with the highest GPA in English out of all the continuing junior English majors. The first winner is Elliot Heiling. And our junior winner is Gabrielle Sullivan. I think Gabrielle is not able to be here this evening. The Mary Jo Boogs English Award. This scholarship is awarded to two English majors with high academic achievement. The students are nominated and selected by the English department faculty. Mary Jo uh, Boogs uh, colleagues remember her for her dry sense of humor and extremely kind heart and generous spirit that sometimes hid behind a gruff exterior. In teaching young adult literature to future secondary teachers for many years, she influenced classrooms around Wisconsin through her impact on her students. Her nieces, Julie Hedgecourt and Amy Robel, are carrying on Mary Jo's legacy of generosity, allowing her impact to continue through this scholarship. Julie and Amy are watching via live stream. Thank you so much for your continued generosity. And this year's winner is Oliver Bronk.
And our second winner is Kirsten Faulkner. And Kirsten, I believe, is not available to attend this evening. Moving on to the... All right, moving on to the Dr. Deborah R. Winters Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a philosophy student who has demonstrated interest in the history and culture of women in the field of philosophy. Oops. And this uh, scholarship was created in the memory of Debbie Winters, UWSP class of 1982, to support students as they follow their chosen path, provide financial assistance to help students achieve their goals, and encourage students to think beyond the degree and to be open to the challenges and opportunities that await them upon graduation. Each year, this scholarship is awarded to a philosophy student who has demonstrated interest in the history and culture of women in the field of philosophy. And this year's winter, winner is Jarita Bavito. Congratulations. The Vaclav Soroka History Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to an undergraduate major with the History and International Studies Department with high academic achievement and potential. Our first winner is Josh Antos. And our second winner is Sophia Webb. I think we're ready to have group two come forward in the high achievement category. All right, our next award is the Richard Face Faculty Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to an undergraduate history major uh, in the History and International Studies Department with high academic achievement and potential. And this year's winner is Jasmine Schnelli. Congratulations. The Herbert Steiner Faculty Memorial Scholarship is awarded to an undergraduate major within the History and English uh, International Studies Department with high academic achievement and potential. potential. This year's winner is Kyle Byersdorf. The Elwin Sigmund Faculty Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to an undergraduate major within the History and International Studies Department with high academic achievement and potential. This year's winner is Kyle Gano. <laughs> the Sally Kent Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to an undergraduate major with the History and International Studies Department with high academic achievement and potential. Sally, Sally Kent taught in the Department of History and International Studies from 1987 to 2014. She was an expert in Eastern European history, especially Yugoslavia, and she headed the International Studies Department and uh, chaired the department for one term. She was a valued colleague, teacher, and scholar, and her loss is still felt deeply by the department. This year's Sally Kent Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Braden Hulse. The John E. Anderson History Recognition Award. This award is presented to a first year student or sophomore uh, who shows promise in the study of history. This student is selected by faculty nomination. This year's winner is Meg Reese. The Reese W. Hayes Faculty Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to an undergraduate major with the History and International Studies Department with high academic achievement and potential. This year's winner is Ella Hunter. And Ella is in Ireland, so she is not here tonight. <laughs> the Frank Pat Crow History Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a major or minor in history who has demonstrated scholarly achievement, service to the university, and to the discipline of history. This year's uh, first winner is Jarita Bavito. <laughs> this 
You good? <laughs> and our second winner is Mark Wozniki. All right, I believe we're ready for group three. Our next award is the Thomas Overholt Memorial Early Major Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a philosophy major within their first year with 30 credits or fewer. It is based on academic performance as measured by GPA in the major, overall GPA, and performance in philosophy major classes. Thomas W. Overholt was a professor of religious studies in the philosophy department at UWSP from 1975 until his retirement in 1999. He coordinated the religious study program for 20 years and served as chair of the department for six years. During his time at UWSB, Overholt offered, authored several books on New Testament prophets using comparative and cross-cultural approaches with special attention to comparison between Old Testament prophets and Native American prophets. This memorial fund was created in his honor after his untimely death in 2005. And this year's winner is Calvin Richards. The John Billings Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is given to the recipient of the Distinguished Continuing Student Award. It is based primarily on GPA and number of credits taken. John Billings was a respected professor of philosophy and religious studies at UWSP for 31 years. His hobbies included fencing and bagpiping. After retiring in 1997, he followed his quiet calling and became a minister within the Presbyterian Church. This scholarship was created to continue John's legacy of providing life-changing moments in the lives of his students. And this year's winner is Egan Hill. Congrats. The Susan King Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a non-traditional female student in good academic standing who has taken at least three credits in women's and gender studies. And this year's winner, Jarita Bavito. <laughs> the Peter A. Kroner German Language Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a German language student with demonstrated qualities of outstanding character, leadership, and academic ability. The student is selected by the Department of World Languages and Literatures. And this year's winner is Brandon Smith. The Mildred Davis Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to an undergraduate who displays excellent in the study of French. And this year's winner is Anthony Spiegel. And I think he's in France. <laughs> the Melvin Bloom Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to an outstanding Spanish major. And this year's winner is Genesis Santos. Congrats. The John F. Weiler Foreign Language Award. This award is presented to a junior or senior world language major for their excellence in the study of French, Spanish, or German. Our first winner is America Ambris Zermano. Congratulations. Our other winners are Kylie Newton and Megan Sp Steffens, who are both in Spain. So congratulations. <laughs> now I'll turn things back over to Dr. Brett Barker. Thank you, Lee. Um, the awards for excellence in writing in the discipline and excellence in creative writing will be presented by Dr. Jeff Snowbarger, Associate Professor of English, 
Authorities in both of these areas should come forward now. Thank you, Britt. The thing I love about tonight is seeing so many former students get their just recognition. The unspoken thing we're really celebrating here are all the failures these young adults have endured. All the late nights, all the tired eyes, all the saying, no, I have to study. All the sentences written only to be carved up, rewritten, and deleted. All the many, many ideas and drafts scrutinized and revised. These next awards celebrate the writers amongst us, particularly those who've excelled at writing within their chosen disciplines. First up, Brittany Lang, winner of the Sally Kent History Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to an undergraduate majoring or minoring in international studies who has authored a superior paper in the capstone experience course in the international studies in international studies the student is selected by the capstone course instructor congratulations Brittany. <laughs> the thomas overholt memorial essay contest scholarship this scholarship is awarded to a philosophy major with the most outstanding essay in philosophy or religious studies. The student is selected by the Department Scholarship Committee. This year's winner is Sean Sutherland. Congratulations. <laughs> Next up, the Capstone History Writers Award. This award is presented to an undergraduate majoring or minoring in history who has written a superior paper in either History 489 or 490. The student is selected by faculty nomination. This year's winner is Brenna Welch. Congratulations. <laughs> and lastly, I have the honor of presenting the Mary Shumway Poetry Award. This award is presented to a sophomore or junior English major or minor with the best group of poems, best group of three poems submitted and judged by English faculty. This year's winner is Ava Willett. Congratulations, Ava. And now back to Brett. Thank you, Jeff. All right. Well, as previously mentioned, because um, Vera fell down yesterday, um, the next category, um, which are the uh, awards for study abroad scholarships, an outstanding graduating major in English uh, will be presented again by Dr. Erica Ring. No, was that wrong? Oh no, Philosophy Book Awards. Oh no, I read the long line. Well, that just makes that just proves that I haven't practiced this too much. Okay, sorry. Let me try again. Um, the next category of the Philosophy Book Awards will be offered by Dr. Jason Zinzer, Associate Professor of Philosophy, and uh, the recipient should now come forward now. Sorry about that. Okay. They're going to fire me. Okay. There we go. <laughs> the Philosophy Book Awards are awarded to students based on high GPA uh, in, in the major of philosophy or religious studies. Uh, our first award goes to Mike Ayensa Mensu. Uh, he's receiving the Oxford Handbook of Philosophy and Neuroscience by John Bickle, given his interest in philosophy, psychology, and neuroscience. We hope that he continues to apply his keen mind and philosophical analysis to the deep problems posed in the neurosciences. Our next award goes to, goes to Bill, Bill Taylor. Bill is receiving the Knowledge Machine, How Irrationality Created Modern Science by Michael Strevens, one of the best monographs in the philosophy of science in the past decade. Um, Bill is interested in philosophy of science and is currently writing a capstone paper on the roles of values and sciences. If you are interested, he'll be presenting his work at the Coles Student Symposium in a few weeks, and we hope this book continues to feed his interest about the theoretical foundations of science. <laughs> Next uh, award is for Austin Kub um, Kubiasiak. Kubiziak, I'm sorry. Uh, he, he's receiving uh, Tom Reagan's classic book, The C Case for Animal Rights. 
Uh, he has a, he's had an interest in animal ethics and especially animal rights ever since taking the course here at UWSP. And he is currently completing a capstone project analyzing the idea of granting property rights to animals to protect their habitats. And finally, Michaela Muzaniski uh, came to UWSP with interest in environmental ethics and food ethics. She's receiving the Chris, Deem, uh, Chris Deem's soon-to-be classic book, Connection to Nature, as she looks forward to her last semester in which she'll be doing a capstone project analyzing the environmental significance of people's sense of connection to nature. Congratulations. Yes. And I'll turn it back over to Dr. Barker. See, now there's an air of excitement. Will he get the right one this time? Well, let's see. All right, here we go. So as I was saying, when Vera fell down and couldn't present these awards, a great, gr very gracefully uh, in her place has stepped in. I want to reintroduce uh, Dr. Erica Ringelspa to give the uh, study abroad scholarships and outstanding graduating major in English for real this time. So those students can come forward at this point. We'll start with the study abroad scholarships. The study abroad experience is a vital component in the process of mastering a second language. However, participating in a national or international program can be a valuable asset to any bachelor's degree program. Studying abroad helps students build greater self-awareness, self-reliance, and self-esteem, greater clarity in their career choices and life goals. UWSP offers study abroad programs in 25 countries, which is pretty cool. The foreign language immersion programs take place each semester in France, Germany, and in Spain, and there's also a summer program in Mexico. I feel like I'm doing a little advertisement for study abroad, but I believe this because I also studied abroad and it did all of these things. The Irene Anderson Scholarship is awarded to a student who plans to study abroad in France, Germany, Russia, or Spain, and this year it goes to Elena Volotho, who is now studying in Spain. Now studying in Spain? will study abroad in Spain. She's not in two places at one time. Congratulations. And the Lee Burris International Scholarship is presented to an English major or minor studying at any UWSP international programs site. This year goes to Brayden Schmidt, who goes to London this summer. Congratulations. And now we move on to the outstanding graduating majors. Jay Wilson receives the Engl Ellen Specht English Department Senior Award. Jay is currently student teaching in Marshfield and plans to stay in central Wisconsin. He's been a member of UWSP's Sigma Tau Delta since 2020 and has his poetry published in Barney Street three times. Maggie Weiland receives the Ellen Specht Scholarship. Maggie's currently student teaching in Mosinee and has already accepted a position for next year in Elmond Bancroft. Sigmund's been, uh, Maggie's been a member of UWSP Stigma Tel Delta since 2021 and has served in leadership for Rising Voices Poetry Project and the Cornerstone Press. Thank you, Erica. So next, to present the Goethe and Consulate Awards, as well as the Honor Society inductees, may I reintroduce Dr. Tob Tobias Barsky, Assistant Dean of the School of Humanities and Global Studies. Um, so could we have the Goethe and Consulate Award, nominee, award winners come forward at this point? A few words about uh, these awards. Um, for those of you who are familiar with European geography, Germany is located very centrally. Um, and so historically, they've always believed very much in the power of being able to talk to people around them. And uh, there's like nine countries around, like, uh, around Germany where people speak other languages. So being able to communicate in order to sell goods, first and foremost, um, has been on their minds since the Middle Ages. 
Um, <clears throat> and so it's no surprise that the German government has always been very interested also in uh, other people learning German to uh, support uh, cultural exchange, but also to um, you know live in peace with their neighbors. Um, the Goethe Institute is, an, is a cultural institution. Um, we uh, have traditionally worked with the consulate in Chicago for many years, and um, they um, are kindly offer prizes for our students at the freshman, sophomore, uh, junior, and, and, and senior level. And so the Goethe Award uh, Goethe Awards this year go to Brody Kupski, uh, C.P. Bobby, Griffin Dietrich, and Megan Biedermann. Congratulations. And then the German consulate also is very supportive of the study of ger uh, the German language, and so we have four more uh, awards in the on the, the in the consulate uh, category. They are Calvin Richards, Drake Ludvigson, Ellie Atkinson, and Harry Benton. <laughs> the content is the same, but it seems like pink is. And this brings us to the last area, and those are the honor societies. For those of you who are not familiar, um, we have three uh, areas where we will be uh, inducting students into the respective uh, honor societies. Uh, they are Sigma, Tau, Delta, uh, which is for international, uh, which is the International English Honor Society. Uh, Alpha Mu Gamma, uh, which is the National Collegiate Foreign Language Honor Society, and then finally Phi Sigma Tau, which is the International Honor Society for Philosophers. Uh, in order to qualify for, uh, for induction, uh, students have to meet uh, relatively high uh, GPA standards. Uh, they must take. Uh, must have taken um, a set number of courses in the uh, area, and um, and they have to apply. Uh, so those are pretty much the three areas that the students have to meet. Uh, it is a, a, a sign of distinction, um, and uh, it is one of those things that seems to bond people. Um, um, and so I'm very happy to announce that for Sigma Tau Delta, which is, uh, again, the English Honor Society, we have Ellie Atkinson, Paige Bieber, uh, Bo Jordan, Ava Nielsen, and Bethany Webb. All the members, uh, or all the students being inducted into Alpha Mu Gamma are currently abroad doing what students studying languages do, which is, you know, experience the language in its native heritage. Um, so th the inductees this year, this year are Ali Atkinson, Ian Johnson, and, and oh sorry, and, and I should have practiced this one, Angelia Verdone, correct? Which brings us to the inductees for the Phi Sigma Tau uh, Honor Society. Uh, again, this is our philosophy honor society. The students being inducted this year are Lexi Kurzewski, Bill Taylor, and Jonah Gibson. And that concludes the program, almost.
I have a couple more things to say. First of all, Brent, you're not being fired. So that comes as a sigh of relief to all of us. Uh, and But before I conclude, um, I wanted to call out the two people again who've made tonight's uh, event possible. Um, and I would like to for them to come up here and get a giant, gigantic round of applause. Sam Pech and Lindsay Cheever. That, for sure now, concludes tonight's, uh, the official part of it all. As Brett Barker mentioned, uh, there's time to mingle and to chat. Uh, we are going to try to take some more group pictures, so don't run away. Thank you very much for taking the time to come out tonight to celebrate our students and our faculty. It's been a pleasure, and I wish all of you best of luck to finish off the semester. Thank you very much. <laughs>